Maybe I've turned into one of those angry Londoners. The one, I'm, the, I'm that person that people talk about, like, mm, you don't want to go to London, they're so angry and unfriendly. That's me. Is that me? Is this normal? <laughs> Hi guys! Today I decided to talk about pet hates. I don't even know if this is an existing tag, but if it isn't, I'm starting it. Pet hates. I've got so many pet hates and so I was wondering if I'm the only one um, and I thought I would share my pet hates with you and you guys can tell me if you feel it too or if you think that I'm just really miserable. I don't think I am but maybe I am. I guess you never know. <laughs> my pet hate number one has to be when you hold a door open for someone and you even stand, maybe you wait like three, four seconds that you'll never get back from your life. You wait for those seconds for them to get to the door and they just walk through it. And then I always get really angry and I feel like shouting after them, you're welcome. But then I think that would make me sound crazy. But it's like, come on, it's not my job to open this door for you. I could have shut it in your face, but that would make me a terrible person. Like P's and Q's cost nothing, right? That brings me on to my second pet hate, people just not saying please and thank you. Is it really so hard? And there's a quote, and I don't know it exactly, but it's something about that you should be kind to strangers in case they're angels in disguise. Even if they're not angels in disguise, manners cost nothing. Say please and thank you. People who eat with their mouth open, and you know the people I mean. It's not so much the mouth being open, I can deal with that. It's the sound. We don't want to hear that sound. I hate it. I can't even sit next to someone when they do it. In your ear. Unacceptable. Please shut it. Please shut it. Still on the subject of eating, people who pick their nose and eat it. It's horrible. Why do you do it? Why? Why? And then especially like, think of your girlfriend or your boyfriend or they've got to kiss you and I just... Well, it, it honestly, it makes me feel physically sick and I see people doing it on the tube and it's like, oh come on, if you've got a dirty little habit, don't do it in public. Uh. Still on the subject of eating, and I know it's not their fault, but people who eat and their jaws click, you know, it's like... I can't do a click sound. Click. Click. It's not a very good word for click, it doesn't sound anything like click, but you know that kind of like when they eat, yeah I know it's not their fault but it's annoying um, and lucky for me my boyfriend's jaw clicks so I have to restrain myself from getting angry at him because it's just the way his jaw was made I guess. I don't know. Why do people's jaws click? People you bump into, like a friend that you bump into, and you're like, oh my god, so great to see you, what have you been up to? And then they spend the time being like, yeah, um, mm hmm cool, yeah, and you, you, sorry, what? You're not listening to me, I didn't need to talk to you, I was being polite, all you need to do is make an excuse, and if there's someone better to talk to, go talk to them, I'm not your consolation prize. Is that just me? Maybe I am the consolation prize. People, and again, it could be a friend, who get in touch when they want something, and basically they only get in touch when they want something, so they feel guilty about it. So they kind of like dress up the favour, so you'd get a text like, oh hey, long time no speak, what you been up to? I saw you did this, that's really cool, we should hang out soon. Oh yeah, by the way, do you have da 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 DVD, could I borrow it? Or something like that. Don't dress it up, just ask the favour. We both know what you're doing. Just ask the favour. Come on. Bags on seats on public transport. It's fine when it's quiet, but you know when you get onto a busy train or a busy bus or a busy tube and it's so crowded and you're like, oh wow, a seat. Oh wait, oh, oh I'm sorry, I didn't realise that your bag needed to be seated and then you've got to ask them, which, you don't want to ask them because then you feel like you're interfering. I don't know, just like, just move your bag off the seat. Like, and I don't get how people can be so, like I live my life being like self-aware, thinking, oh, maybe I'm annoying that person. Maybe that I shouldn't do that. Some people obviously don't have that filter. It's like when you, say you go watch comedy or music at a festival and there'll always be one guy that stands up right in front of you or puts their chair up right in front of you or puts their umbrella up. Look behind you. 
We're all here and now we can't see because of you. People who are lost, I know it's not their fault, but they stop right in the middle of the pavement or right at the bottom of the stairs in the underground and they just stand there and you can't get past them and then it makes me angry and just keep moving, even if you don't know, or find a corner, just not in the middle of the pavement or the middle of the walkway in the underground, please. I say that, but I'm sure that I'll do it when I go to Istanbul next month. So some of the pet hates I might do myself, but I'm still allowed to get annoyed by them when other people do them, right? Couples who hold hands on the pavement. You're not on a cloud, you might feel like you're on a cloud, but we're trying to get past you, just go single file, or even separate so that we can get in the middle of you. Like sometimes we're in a hurry and we have to try and dodge around all these loved up couples and I'm not bitter because I have a boyfriend and maybe sometimes I will hold his hand in the street, but that's up to you to get annoyed about. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. People on the tube or trains or buses who don't get up off their seats for the elderly and it really upsets me because they're all like, they can sit down, they're, they're all fragile and stuff and then it's normally like middle aged men and they sit with their headphones in and they even look up and then they look back down and I get if it's like someone pregnant you might not definitely know if they're pregnant and that's awkward and I understand that but come on, get up off your seats, be gentlemen, just because you're underground manners still apply. People who get on the train before you can get off, so you end up trying to battle through. Guys, it's like, we need to get out and you need to get on, just let us get out and then you can get on and then it's not a battle. How about that? When you're on a very crowded train, bus, underground tube, whatever you're on, and you can't get on because it's all crowded here, but then in the, where the seats are in that little alleyway, it's empty. Again, guys, have some self-awareness. Imagine if it was you on that platform that was trying to get on the train. Don't make me wait another minute. The word toilet, Blech. I hate the word toilet. Abbreviations, abbreviations really great on me, especially the word beaut. Oh, it was so beaut. Nah, my friends use that word and I'm like, guys, please, is it so hard to put if all on the end? Is it? People who spit on the street, I can make an exception if you're running a long way, but guys, come on, don't spit on the street, it's gross. And people that put their cigarettes on the street, I don't wanna be walking on cigarettes and I don't drop my crisp packets on the floor or anything on the floor, so why do you think it's okay to drop your cigarettes on the floor? It is not okay. So they are my pet hates. I didn't even count how many there were, so I will count and put it in an annotation. Let me know if you think that I'm just really moody and need to lighten up, or if you feel my pain, and let me know what your pet hates are as well, because I would love to know. And give it a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Mwah! <laughs>